Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play Super NES Classics. Last week we got in the ring with several people who beat the crap out of us. Today, we're gonna fight snails instead. Because they seem like easier targets. They're not. You they're, say that. They're, they're actually yeah. much yeah. more difficult. Um, because I have played Final Fantasy VI like a million times. And in every situation, I've only gotten... To the snail. To the snail. Uh, I'm actually going to let Mal take over today. Mal is going to be the one guiding us through. The real question is... Real question is, is she going to be able to get past the snails? I don't think so. I just realized that's like the other side of the mic, so you can't... I don't think so. That's probably really loud. Uh, all right, Mal, Final Fantasy three slash 6. Thank you. There you go. Gonna let you uh, take care of this one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So Mal's gonna be in charge. She's going to uh, take us through, and uh, you know, there's there's people that are experiencing Super NES Classic for the first time. Uh huh. Um, they may not be familiar with the history of Final Fantasy, so I will have Dan explain a little bit about Final Fantasy three slash six in the sidebar, especially the fact that I called it six because this is actually Final Fantasy six, but. As far as the ones we had in the West, this was only the third one. Also, Final Fantasy II that we had in the West was actually Final Fantasy IV. We didn't get the numbers straightened out until much later, but Dan will tell you a little bit about that in the uh, sidebar. Do it. Great games. Never beaten them. But they, uh, legendary titles. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. One thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. Ma magic. Magic. <laughs> the dread destructive force known only as snails. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Snails. Uh, in all seriousness, this is uh, a legendary video game, uh, often cited as the best Final Fantasy ever made, one of the best RPGs ever made, one of the best games ever made. There's the town. Do you want to voice one of these characters? You can be Wedge. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Think it's still alive? Probably, <laughs> judging from the urgency of our orders. Okay, I'll be Wedge. Then you be Vix. <laughs> I was gonna be the girl. I don't think she speaks. Oh. And this. I heard she fried 50 of our Magitech armored soldiers in under three minutes. Not to worry. A slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. I don't know why I decided he sounded like that, but I decided he did, because it's fun to do. We'll approach from the east. Move out! Yeah, see, she got the slave crown. Oh. She can't. Oh. She can't think. See, I didn't know. She got to get out of that slave crown. If she get out of the slave crown, conscious thought. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful scrolling background. I don't know it's if like this the Animal Crossing Donut World. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of man. You know what's so strange is that I've never really gotten very far at all in Final Fantasy VI. Like, oh, I, I, it's I've played this beginning part so many times, and the snail thing has become such like a joke. But I've never actually gotten more or less much further than that. <laughs> There's a part with the uh, with the Moogles. Yeah. 
and they like are like, we have to hide or something. And that's like as far as I've gotten. This is the very beginning of the game. And it's just because, you know, you, it's a what? It's a 30, 40 hour game and 35 hours of that is spent fighting one snail. That's the problem. I mean, I'm not going to tell Squaresoft how to do their jobs, but maybe not make the snail fight 35 hours. You know, spend some time doing other things, man. There's other parts of the world that we want to see. We don't want to fight snails all the time. But they're just convinced that that's what people want. That's why I wrote them an angry letter. And I said, listen, remember 20 years ago when you made that game? About fighting snails? Why didn't you do it different? Why didn't you let us explore some of the other stuff? And I got a response back, and they said, What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. This is a neat little cutscene. Yeah. It's just not neat once you've seen it, like, five times. But it's, like, almost over. <laughs> got the tra the translator, Ted Woos Wo Woolsey. Pretty sure that uh, he worked on some other stuff, too. All right, now we're in it. We did it. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Forward. And then we just all morphed into one person. Machine riding self-important swine. Take this. Oh, no. A Rottweiler. A snail. I like how uh, the overworld screen, it's like it's a little puppy, and then you get into fight into the battle and it's like this huge thing. I'll, I'll use my fire beam! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It, it doesn't matter. You're, you're super powered. You, you're not gonna lose. <laughs> I promise to dance after every battle. I'll go this way. Go this way. Go, no. Okay, don't go that way. Imperial Magitek armor! Not even Nashi safe anymore! Everyone gets ridiculous voices, but not as ridiculous as the snail. Fire so, beam. Yeah, so you got all these, you got all these things. Ice you can do all of these beam. attacks, and you, they all win. Bolt. Because the so, idea is, like, here at the beginning of the game, you got, you got the power. Then you go into the mines and you find the snail. And then it's 35 hours of that. Ice beam. Yeah. Did it. Good job. 32 experience points. Fix gained a level. Now he has the power of vapor rub. 96 gold points. Gold pieces. You gotta fight a few guards here and there. Oh, look, more Rottweilers. Now she's freedom depends on us. Everyone sounds like this! Seriously, look at these dogs! They're not- they're wolves! They're- they're not even wolves, they're like werewolves. There's not <laughs> any reason those things should be that big. They are large. They're very large! Because we've already established that our characters are in like giant frickin' mech suits. So those things gotta be the size of houses. It's a little ridiculous. Terrifying. Alright, now you gotta fight the guards themselves. Just take Who are off. like, they're like mummies. For some reason. There's mummies and werewolves, and that's... You had to come clear out mummies and werewolves. I feel like you're doing the world a favor. And I'm not sure, I don't feel like mummies and werewolves should probably be allowed to stick around. That seems like a bad... A bad thing. 32 experience points. Good job, Vix. Everyone's Vic, gaining levels, Vic's, multiple Vic's, levels. Vix can't turn it off, man. He's on a vapor rub high. Oh! We've got him trapped now! Sure you do. All right, so now you gotta fight all sorts of- oh, look at that, you got on both sides, showing off the power of, whoa, multi-sided battles. Crazy. Right? Absolutely crazy. Now, fun fact, um, because we- our Final Fantasy 2 was actually Final Fantasy 4, uh, and our Final Fantasy 3 was actually Final Fantasy 6, you might be wondering, well, when is it that we got a chance to play the actual, uh, you know, Final Fantasy- what, which, which ones would, would, would we be missing? Two, three, and five. Right? That means we wouldn't have had a chance to play two, three, or five. Uh, that wasn't until later. That wasn't until later. Dan can probably fill you in on that. Um, I actually played it for the first time. I played Final Fantasy 1 and 2. 
God, was it called Dawn of Souls? There was a Game Boy cart where they had um, both the uh, first and second Final Fantasy games. Whoa! They got friggin' mammoths. They call them... Whoa, mammoth! Two they. Voma? I mean, maybe it's Vo-mammoth. Because it's I, Vix, the but, same... <laughs> It's, it's a mammoth, but it's drenched in vapor rub. You can smell that thing from a mile away. It's very frightening. But it will open your sinuses if it gets anywhere close. All right, you killed it. You're doing great. Thanks. You're doing great. I mean, this is... <laughs> I'm sure there are people watching, and you're like, man, they're not going to get very far in, that, in a small amount of time. I mean, you're right. But during the NES Classics, when we played the original Final Fantasy, the only thing we did was run forward and die. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Is that a Pokemon? Esper? Yeah, it's like a purple cat. I think. It's I an evolution. Is it? Well, it's a purple cat then. All right, that shiny thing is your save point. Okay, and here we go surround you. Want info about save points? Nah, you got. All right. So, no. Oh, you didn't save. Just FYI. Oh. That's not. That's not how it works. Those uh, are horrifying. Yeah, that's a that's a were rat, and my advice is to kill them dead, because they don't deserve to live. Really. <laughs> it's take a little time here. There we go, okay. So when you're out of this battle, yeah, you want to press the start button. Right here? The or one, on this? Yeah, start. Or A or X or something, I don't know. Whatever brings up menu. One of them's menu. Okay, so you'll see the save is like not available uh -huh. to use. So now you go over and stand on the thing. Now you check it and you can save. And uh, this was... Um, this was used in some other games as well. And actually, I remember back in the day playing fan games, playing, you know, like RPG Maker games that use that same mechanic as well. That's I'll it. handle this! Stand back! Was that his voice? I don't <laughs> remember. He, he can sound however you want to, baby. Alright, Vix rammed that. We won't hand over the Esper! Welk! Get them! <gasps> the snail! Alright, everyone, prepare for 35 hours. I don't have Haley to phone in and tell me what to do, but I think by now I know what to do. By 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 now you know what to do. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning and stores the energy in its shell? Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. All right, already attack the shell. Beat its shell in. That's the only way you can get to the meaty insides! I hear it tastes delicious! Kerprick, kerprick! Alright, so let's see, let's see how well you do here. Let's see, because my record for beating the snail is like an hour. Let's just see how Mal does here. Gru! Oh, so it did that now, so... You attacked the shell! Megavolt! How do I defend? I don't defend? Well, okay. So, the thing that's... You're familiar with, like, a game like Earthbound. Yeah. Uh, this game, it's... The battle's moving. Yeah. Because you have an active time system. Yeah. So, if you just wait, it will oh, happen. Okay. So, do I just tonic her? Or does that I don't not... know what tonic does. This might be health. I don't know whether... I mean, she's dead, so we'll see what that does. See if the tonic works. Nope, it's because they're dead. Now, one of them has an ability to bring people back to life, I'm pretty sure. Not using tonic on yourself is pretty good, yeah. Gru! So now it's back out because it's on the active time system. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you know, one of them died, but. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? 
So you, you've decided to take a completely different route than I took. My idea was to just... Oh, you got slimed. My idea was to just attack all the time forever. You've decided to, like... So if I just not wait... Do that. Yeah. That one had it already set. Because yeah. it was slime. Oh, you're getting that Mega Vault! Regger, 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 regger. You probably want tonic that. Mm mm mm. Vix Vapor Bob! Grew! Grrrr. That's the sound it should make, because it's scary. If you want to make a scary sound, just take your take your fingers and dance them over your lips. That's that's scary. If you want to sound frightening, you can even use your normal voice. This is me, Steven, talking. BMM. That's scary. That's very frightening. All right, you're doing great. Oh, oh he grew. No, oh, he no. grew. He grew. Do you want me to call Haley? Do you want me? I I know not to attack though. It's just I. I mean, you're saying that, but out. you fire beamed him. He's gonna mega volt you. You get mega volted. Wow. Vix barely survived. Gracious. All right, Vix is drinking down that tonic. Gulpy gulp, gulpy gulp. Brilliant. All right, grew. Good stuff. Fire beam in that son of a gun. Get him. I mean, there actually might be attacks that are like better suited than fire. 170 seems like a lot of damage, though. Do you think heal force will bring her back? Maybe. It's like totally possible. No. Nope. But they'd probably heal you instead of having to use your tonics. Yeah, because I'm out of tonics. Uh, yeah. Is he gonna no, you jerk! Oh, uh, he grewed! You didn't think he would grew, but he and grewed! Then he grewed. Oh my god, you might die to the snail. There's, there's, a, there's a tiny special part of me that really wants you to die to the snail so we can, like, have collectively died to the snail. Like power and I accidentally heal force the one that's down. Great. Like we, we Great. We power coupled dying to the snail. Maybe you should just heal yourself. Of course, by the time, he would probably have grewed out. Ba-ding! Oh, he's outside. He's outside. Oh, snap. You're going to fire beam him. But he gets to attack first. He has got he priority. Missed. He missed with that slime, which is good because slime could, can do some serious damage. You didn't kill it. So now now you're scared. Yeah. Oh, he grew. He grew. That's good, though. It, 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 that lets you know for sure that you should you should use, like, heal force or something. And maybe you catch him on the flip side. You know, you'll be able to get up in there and, and, and do your thing. You think I should ice him or beam him or fire him again? You're doing damage. If, if you were healing him with your attacks, it would show up as green. I know. So you're... I mean, you're good. You're... Do, you're... You're causing, you're causing that snail pain, so it's fine. Did you go for ice? No. Oh, you went for fire. Okay, I thought you were going to try something different. Oh, he's not grueling. He's not grueling. Oh, now he grewed. Yep, he grewed. All right, well, you know, enjoy your home. This would have, um, this, this probably would have went a lot faster uh -huh. if you no had, one died. if you had all three characters. So if I just wait, right? Yeah. It seems so weird. It's because it's an active battle system. It's not turn-based. Yeah, like you could you could start a fight and put the controller down, go get a cup of coffee, and when you come back, everyone will be dead because the the other characters would have gotten their bar all the way back up and killed you. Mm. So it's like you gotta, you know, think fast. Some of the games will actually allow you to choose. Uh, for example, Final Fantasy VII is an active time system. So should I attack again or should I just wait for him to grow? Who knows? Who knows? You have no idea. Just wait for him to grow. See? He grew. It. He grew. It. He grew. It. He grew. It. Yeah, uh, like in Final Fantasy 7, uh, by default it's an active time system, but if you want you can change it to strictly turn-based. Um, but that's... It's not really in the spirit of the game. Mm -hmm. um, some games are developed around the idea of being, you know, turn-based, and some of them are around the idea of having this little time system thing. So I generally just leave games by default, whatever they are. All right, he's out. He's out. Get him. Get get him. Did I do it? Mal. Mal. What? 
you killed that son of a gun. I did. You did. Well, you, uh, Vix did. Wedge, Wedge and the girl are dead. <laughs> um, they died because they attacked the shell. I didn't know how it worked. By the way, everyone's dead. Have some rats. I'm sure you'll be fine. You, yeah, I mean, you got a ton of health. You have, you can heal your your party, and you don't have any magic points because you're in those special mech suits. Uh huh. So like, there's li there's like, no real reason to die. Like, it's really hard to to die. But you're doing great. You're doing great. I, your guys might they might come back to life. Maybe there might be like a way. So do I just drag them around? You yeah. Think? Yeah. You like tie a, a a rope to them and you just pull them. Cause you got the mech suit, so I presume it's, you know, it, it's powerful enough to haul them along. Sixty-three experience points, sixty-six gold. Yeah, good job, Vix. Doing great. S is <laughs> it skills? <laughs> Vix don't got no skill. I mean, I don't think you have anything that can bring them back to life. You have a potion. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Come on, that doesn't work in video games. You have to bring them back to life because they're dead. They need like a phoenix down or something. And then you could do it. That was not clear that that was an opening. Yeah, that was not. Alright, everyone's live again. Got a frozen chocobo. This is the frozen esper. Scary. It's very frightening. I'm still dead. Yeah, but they look healthy. Hey! What's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Oh, God. Mm. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Oh, we flashing. Where's that light coming from? ooh -ah! Hey! Wedge, where are you? What's happening? Ooh, spooky. Ooh, spooky. Double spooks. Triple spooks! Look at that. Look at them. Look at them cool effects the Super Nintendo can do. And then some explosions. Go to the black screen. And then we fade back in. And you are in the bed, and then a guy checks on you, and then shortly after that is with the Moogles. And then I've never gotten past that point. Where am I? Whoa. <laughs> Everyone sounds exactly the same. Whoa, and I only just removed the crown. Head hurts. Easy. This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. It says old man, but I don't feel like I look old. No. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. Her name is Terra. Just leave that. She won't. Be Her looking. name is Lizard God. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tara. <laughs> Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. The Rottweilers. And mummies. Open up. Give us back that girl in that Magitek armor. Open this star! We want that girl! Cause she's important! Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. Let's walk through where you were. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these boots occupied. Okay, bye. Thanks. Alright, now you make your way through the mines. 
and hopefully everything's fine. She's up there! How, how are you going to get to me? You're not. I'm up in the air, and you ain't! And then, like, shortly after this is where you meet the Moogles, and I've, like, never... Met the Moogles? I met the Moogles, I just never got past that part. I got to that part, and I was like, well, I guess I'm done. Oh, you found a Repo Man! And he wrenched you. And a Vaporite. God, Repo Man. That's a great... I've never seen that enemy. I'm pretty sure I've never seen that enemy, and that's fantastic. I'm just... I'm just so happy. You cut him up. He didn't die. That's because he's a Repo Man. Mal. He's gotta be able to survive vicious attacks from swords. There. Now he's dead. Because he's gonna come get your car. I don't have a car. Well, he's wandering through the cave on the way to get to wherever your car was. That's what it's about. Oh. Erasing data. You did it. Congrats. Good job, Tara. Good job, Tara. Ta you did... Did excellent work. So that's a, that's a treasure chest. I see that. It's, a, it's actually a very small door. Phoenix down. With, a, with an F. Uh, that would have come in handy earlier. All these fun guys. So are those ears? Yeah. It's not like exposed brain? I, that's what I first thought when I first saw it. But no, it's an ear. And their tail... It looks like they're wearing high heels. Like, high, like red high heels. They're standing on their bellies. Because their feet, like, their center of gravity is their belly? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That makes sense. Oh my goodness, you found another small door. Fortunately, you've ran into another Repo Man! <sighs> that old Repo Man! He came to wrench you. You're down to 40 health. Yeah, I see that. Wrench. That's not good. Cure? Yeah, you've cure. Is that yeah. health? Okay. Is that health? Yes. That is what you're after. Look at that. You went from 28 to 94. That's not bad. Yeah. You can you can afford to get hit by a wrench so many more Here, times Here's now. a wrench. Good. Because you can take it. Oh my god, he wrenched you twice before he died. Did he, like, hit it, like, on its return? Like, I, a boomerang? Like, you didn't miscatching? Even get, you didn't even get the chest. Oh, I... That's right. I suppose I did. You will fight another guy. <laughs> that was great. The, the way the sleeping bag works is that when you're on one of those save icons... Yeah. You can... You're allowed to use the sleeping bag, and it, like... I think it's... It's as if your party stayed at an inn. Your, okay. Your stats are all refilled. Wrench. That's all that poor guy knows how to do. And he only has one wrench. I don't know where he keeps pulling these wrenches out of. He's gone. He didn't even wrench me. <laughs> okay. There you go. You're almost you're almost to the you're almost to the Moogles. Got her. No you don't. No. <gasps> oh, no you don't. Oh no. What will become of Oh! This is it! This is it! I've never gotten past this part. Oh, you collapsed. Is it this part? It's like right after this. It's somewhere... Something. My sweet little magic user. Ooh -wee -hee -hee. With this slave crown, I'll practically own you. Creepy. God, I hurt my my jaws trying to do that. So this is like a little flashback. Yep. Ooh wee hee hee! Good. <laughs> Burn up everything. Good old Kafka. And Peppy Hair. Oh, is that Kafka? That's Kafka. 
Kind of looks like Peppy hair. Oh, no, that's a different one. We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness a total revival of magic. It is our destiny and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestal! Presumably he's not the one saying that. It'd be a little weird if he's talking about himself, like, I'm great! Look at me! So Tara remembered some things. And then she passed out worse. And now the Moogles. Maybe? <laughs> I thought I remembered Moogles? Took you long enough? How goes the robbing and plundering trade? Treasure, treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. It is Indiana Jones. I think it's Locke? Yeah, Locke. Lucky <laughs> I prefer the term treasure hunting! I'm lucky <coughs> 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 You gonna be okay? okay? Ha! Semantic nonsense! That's a huge difference! Too slow! Anyway! Were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. This better not have anything to do with that Magitek riding Imperial Witch? Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. All right! I think we better help her! Stop screaming, please. Okay. Okay. I'm just happy you got past the snail. Make your way first to Figaro and talk to the king. Okay! I'll be seeing you! Good. We got him out of the way. How does he- how did he even know? I'm in the library! The library! Oh my god. Anyway, I mean, we're basically done. I just want to see if you can figure- Where's the Moogles? <laughs> Did I dream them? They're here, I swear to god! <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them! <laughs> Koopo, Koopo, Koopity, Koop. There they are. I, I knew I wasn't crazy. Moogles! <laughs> Are you saying you want to help me? <laughs> Koopo! Koopo! <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do, but like, stop screaming! You do, Moogle. Use us to save Tara from the guards! Need more for it? No. <laughs> yeah, this will go well. <laughs> I'm good, I defeated the Welk. Did you just... Oh, you didn't even get found out. You just had to... you ran into a friggin' thing. I see that. Even though you walked in front of a guard. I see that. Like, you're aware that you ran in front of the guard, I, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ooh, Kumama. Kupet, Kupop, and Kumama. One of the guards disappeared. These are the guards. Oh. So you just have to fight your way through. Oh, yeah. I always thought it was like a stealth game. I mean, it's still technically stealth. Like, you could hide a little bit. Oh. Mao is officially further than I've ever been in Final Fantasy VI. You Seriously. got to the Moogles and you were like, done. I was like, done! I saw the Moogles. So I beat the game, basically. Look at that. Ooh, cool mama! You, know, you have Cure. Eh. <laughs> Why 
Why'd you? Ch- you have to go south. Why'd you chase that guy down? I, they said protect. They're working their way up to her. Oh. I would have let her die. Yeah, I see this. Yeah, see, when I when I play, I don't think or read, so I just I'm just like, yeah, oh, no. uh, I gotta attack that shell. Kumama. Oh, don't you like Kumama get hurt? Kumama's like sitting on on her butt, like ah, uh, poor Kumama. Skills? Yeah. Oh wait, you're not the right person. What's Esper's? Oh. Oh God. Oh my god, Kumama. They do Blizzard some, some attack that hits everybody. Oh, Kupak! There's the Blizzard. Oh, Kumama. Oh, Kumama. Oh, Kum. Oh, it's just <laughs> Koopop! Koopop. <laughs> Come on, Koopop! <laughs> oh, Koopop. This is not looking good for Koopop. <laughs> this is not looking good for Koopop. Koopop! Oh, Koopop's in, man! Koopop's surviving! The, nice, uh, the, Moog the Moogles, they're magic, right? They probably got some sort of abilities that you should probably use before I that thing. I can't go. Can you not press I menu? I couldn't go left. That was not my question. You needed to open the menu so you could use an ability so you didn't no, die. No, Koopop. Koopop gonna get popped. <laughs> Annihilated. Annihilated. So do I just start back up here? <laughs> you had a good run. Um, you had a good run. We're gonna stop there. Uh, that was... I didn't die from the snail. You didn't die from the snail. I'm proud of you. Thanks. That game is basically about getting past the snail and then meeting... The Ku Moogles. Kumama. Kumama, who's on the box art, you see Kumama and you're like, yeah, Kumama. And, and then you turn off the game and never play it again. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if there's anything past that part. One of the greatest games ever made. Because of... The Kuma Welk. Kumama. <laughs> and, the, and the Welk fight. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we get to play a childhood game that I am so excited to play through, and that is Donkey Kong Country. Me and Mal will be tag teaming it. Jump through the levels as fast as we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, in 25 minutes, it's hard to say how far we'll get. Yeah. End of second world? That'd be a bit of a stretch. There's some hard levels in the world, too, but we're gonna move, man. We're gonna move freaking fast. I'm so excited for next week. You have no idea. I love Donkey Kong Country. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week for more Stephen Amal play Super Nintendo Classics. Some, in some case, play them badly. <laughs> play them very badly. <laughs>